Hello again. <laughs> we um, today we are going to start like scratching the surface um, of this um, of the subject that this spread collab brings, which is content analysis on Instagram. I was on the session before and I noticed a very high interest in Instagram. So <laughs> I'm quite feeling important now. But um, just to summarize, um, I'm Ana Marta Flores. I, I presented myself at the beginning, but just to make sure like if anybody was, if somebody wasn't there. Um, I, I am a PhD in journalism, but I'm also um, really, really um, learning a lot from the potentialities uh, of the digital methods. And here uh, today, we are going to, um, in a very short way, um, understand a little better about, this, about these uh, potentialities, okay? So uh, please uh, feel free if you have uh, some questions or some doubts. I prefer you could uh, open your mic and then talk because it's easier for us and then we can uh, build this dialogue. But uh, I mean, if you have any, uh, or your mic's not working or something like this, you can just tell me because I, here I am on the full screen and I can't see the, um, uh, the chat. So, but if you, if anything you, you tell me, okay, and we stop, this is, is a conversation and uh, we have some um, practices also uh, on the on the schedule today. So moving on. Um, so first of all, you know, um, I think it's important to for us to understand what is what is we are we talking about when we mention content analysis. Um, I'm not sure uh, which background the, the, all, all of you have, but content analysis is a very traditional research method. And um, this idea is kind of adapt the, the content analysis in the traditional way to um, a different um, uh, content, a different data sets in this case. And more specifically, uh, considering the um, considering the social platforms uh, content and more even in specific considering um, I put you here there uh, considering the the content on on Instagram so uh, here we are not we will not have time um, to go further on the on the content analysis but basically is um, um, research uh, methodology that you can extract patterns and, uh, and ways of representing something. You can, you can do this on a discourse with text. You can do this with images. You can do this with different kinds of, of um, subjects and also with materials. So the point here today, we are going to show one or some ways to explore this uh, in any, any topic you want, okay? Here, so what are we doing today? This is just like a small, um, how can I say, a small flow of the day. So here we are focused on one platform, which is, um, Instagram, and then we are going to use one uh, data extractor tool or software. And then we are working on Google Sheets. And then we are using some of this information on data analysis to understand better what we have there. Some um, visualizations based on this uh, data that we already organized. Uh, do you think it's okay? Like you can see, understand this, this flow. Um, so um, if you have, of course, if you have any questions, 
um, you can say, and this today is going to, to be like just scratching the surface of the, of the possibilities. Um, next, this will be today. Um, you probably saw this image of Bernie Sanders sitting on the inauguration of, of Joe Biden's, right? So, and, and then I put here like a disclaimer um, that we intentionally selected a fun example to work with. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure about you, but for me personally, um, dealing with so much information about the sadness of this pandemic, uh, it's kind of draining all my energies and maybe trying to use this fun example could help us to understand how the, how the structure of this research approach works. And also you can always use this in any subject you are interested in. Um, the most important thing is to understand how it works and um, work, work with right, the right methods and the right questions also. So let's go. Um, here is just to show maybe in case of someone uh, is not very into this uh, situation, this situation of this, this case. Uh, this is Bernie Sanders sitting very closely and cold during the inauguration of, of, the, of the new president of the United States. And uh, he, he was just, this scene just became like an instant meme um, people were just like feeling like he, he was kind of like a simple person there uh, on the very, how can I say, very uh, high um, connected or high or with very important people there and um, state important politicians and everything. So uh, this was kind of the shock between what is an inauguration of the one of the biggest countries, uh, most important economically countries in the world and uh, what this senator uh, means there. So I think this is kind of the fun part of what it takes, it took so much attention. Um, uh, here, so is also a, a different angle of the picture that we saw uh, in everywhere and the focus on, on the globe he, he were using. So here um, on the link, um, actually the link I, I already shared with you on the, on the document there, but I'm not sure if you, if you can check, it was a PDF, but the links are working there. So you can see more information on these and the links are all there also, but I can, I have here and, and, and I can paste it here on the, on the chat after. Um, so uh, here we are going to focus and I'm going to like uh, recall what we are uh, doing today. So we, we, are, we will start with an already extracted data set uh, because I think this process of registration on Phantom Buster and then giving access to your account and it maybe it's, it's kind of fast, but it could take like an extra time that we don't want to lose on these uh, technic technicalities. So um, like I, I put there, so you can just uh, here, if you later want to explore some interest of yours, like I want to sh explore a different hashtag or something, you can just create this account, run the hashtag collector module, which is the name. Uh, and then you download the CSV file uh, that I already gave to you here uh, on this example of Bernie Sanders. So after we will understand and organize the data by applying some formulas in order to have uh, a preview of the posts, uh, check metrics and understand emoji uses uh, in this case. Um, this could be pretty basic for some of you, but I think um, there was like some tricks or some uh, shortcuts that can um, help on the, um, not on, only on this, but for the next work you are going to do this week. 
Um, also, we can check some metrics and understand, uh, of course, I just said this, this the, in the emoji uses cases, uh, in this case. Um, is like understanding the data, organizing it, seeing the image preview of the posts and understanding the engagement there and even the use of emojis will help us to create categories based on this uh, content published. What is interesting in this, in this uh, scenario is that we are um, understanding and searching a hashtag, a specific hashtag, which is kind of neutral hashtag because it's just the name. It's not like Bernie Sanders code, for example, or Bernie Sanders um, pro something or against something. So um, this is kind of a neutral uh, hashtag and the hashtags are, as you know, um, um, like a native um, on digital object, we can actually, um, like, is, um, how can we say, we can actually recollect everything connected to this uh, tag. So uh, also it is important to know that all, all of this is actually connected to a specific period of time. So I think during this morning, uh, our keynoters were just talking about how this uh, fluid lens, how this flux, how, how the context actually important, is very important to understand what it means today and uh, a week from now or two years or three years from now, how hashtags can change or how hashtags can um, like be a photograph of the moment. So it's just to say that Maybe if you take the same hashtag like five years from now uh, ago or from now, you will probably uh, get very different uh, information or uh, interpretation of, of this uh, phenomenon. Okay, sorry, I can, yes. So let's go here. Um, I'm not sure. Let me just see your faces there. Uh, I'm not sure if you could if you could manage to to see the the link of the of the PDF, but I can send you if you want. So you already have there. I can just uh, copy here. Let me see if it allows me. Yeah, this is it. I'm just going to copy here just to make sure you can, where's the chat, more chat, sorry, some people were saying something there. Okay, let me put here. Oh no, we just copy the, sorry. We just copy the name of the, one second, yeah. It's going to be the big the link there. Yeah? Well, I just copied it, but it's okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, so here, uh, a very important note is that uh, you should make a copy of this, right? So don't uh, remember not to start. I, I don't think it, it actually, if you have access to this, but, um, is just is just to put here. Let me just put here present. Um, so yeah, so we are going to start. I'm just going here going to show uh, which steps we are going to take. So first, we should make a copy of this one. This is like recollect um, five thousand uh, posts uh, connected to the hashtag Bernie Sanders. After that, we are going to navigate and to get to know the data there, what, what does it mean, the main uh, columns there. After we are going to analyze, maybe already create some categories, organize the results, maybe prepare for some uh, visualizations. Okay, so um, let me see if I put, yeah. So here, uh, it's a very, very uh, quick one and let me just put here. 
It's a very quick one, uh, as you can see. Here's like more four steps. Uh, I, here I organize a GIF showing how you can do this. But I think it's easier if I actually do this again with you. So I'm going to leave the presentation here. And let me just organize it there. Um, we are going here to, to, the, to the spreadsheets that already shared, shared with you. So as you can see, we have um, this result, this tab called result Bernie Sanders. This is like the original. Uh, of course, we have uh, the output that Phantom Buster gives us is, in a, is a CSV file. Sorry, it's a tab file. And then on, you, should, you can open the tab file on, on your Excel or I like to use the Google spreadsheet because he reads better emojis. And then uh, if we are studying emojis, it's kind of interesting to have this, this feature. So you can go here on this yellow tab. And I, I just made a copy, um, a copy from the, the original results. So the, the great tip here is always leave the original results uh, without um, any changes. So you, maybe if you change something, if you use some filter or any kind of edit, you, you, you may have, um, worked on your, on your spreadsheet. So this is going to be your safe copy, okay? So yeah, um, here in order to, I just, I already put some, some extra columns here. There is the engagement and the post preview. We are going to work first uh, on, the, on the post preview. I can put this a little bigger. I guess it's, it's a little, it's better for, for you to, to see. Um, let me just take the bookmark manager. Let me just like take this view, yeah. Because the, it's like the bigger the screen. So yeah, this is pretty, pretty simple. So uh, before we start, I'm just going to like go uh, over on every, every column we have here. So we have the post. Remember our our um, our query or our research was based on here on Bernie Sanders. So this is the the parameter that like gathers all this information. So come in again. So here we have the post URL and the profile URL. Some of these have uh, the username. Uh, and full name, this is not so much important. These two, comment, comment and like count are very uh, interesting for us because we can understand better the, the, what, what we can consider engagement, like this, the sum of the interactions available for each post. The publi uh, publication date, here you can see that uh, if you go there on the original one, uh, the publication date, it's like all this, these two columns together. But if we want, for example, to see which one was uh, published before or after um, in, this, in this format with time together, it's, you, you can't organize this in a very good way. In this case specifically, actually, I think you can um, because uh, all the posts, like 5,000 posts, um, were, were from, from the, the same day because it was a very popular um, hashtag on this just before, just before the, uh, the inauguration there. So, and here we have a very interesting um, feature which is the URL of the image published. So here, if you, if you want uh, to test, you can go directly to the image, the image published on this account. So what, what are we going to do? Uh, I'm, I'm sure some of you have already explored the DOM demo and image sorter softwares. And uh, with them, you can actually download all the, the images and then explore and plot this in one uh, environment. 
and it's kind of uh, very, very um, useful too. But in this case, if, if in a very, very uh, easy way, you can actually see here um, the, the images, like a preview of the images to have like a first impression of your data set. So to do this, um, I'm, I, I want to, you to do the, the, the best way it's good for you. You can actually uh, do this together with me or maybe you can just watch. I think it's always interesting to try to do together. So that's why I'm not brushing because it could be like one minute and then it's ready. But I think it's good to try uh, and doing, learning by doing and watching. And then, you know, I think this, this could work for me personal, in personal, in personal um, note the, on this, it's always uh, the best experience. So yeah, here we can see we have all the, the links for the images, right? So for to have a preview, uh, you can just type, um, is there someone who wants to talk? No, I, I just listened to something. So that's, you can, you can uh, anytime um, uh, ask something, okay? So you can just uh, write equal and then image. So if you're using, um, the spreadsheet is it's already have like this um, kind of help here and then you open brackets you can just type uh, k2 which is where is located the link we want to to preview or you can just click here it's going to assume the k2 close the brackets and enter so in some Second, you can see here already the image, right? So uh, as you know, I think you probably know, uh, the, most of you know, you can just apply this to all the column with just two clicks. You can just click here on the, on the cross, right? So it's not like anywhere, just here. You click twice, and then it's going to assume all the, all the you know, see this loading here? It's going to assume all the same uh, formula to all the column. So uh, here you can actually try to, let me see if I can um, make a little bigger for us to see like this and then okay, here. Oh, sorry. I just want to fix this a little here and then yeah. I just freeze here. Uh, okay, so here you can see a little bigger uh, all the images connected to this to this uh, hashtag. I think it's a very interesting um, I don't know a shortcut to to see um, different um, images without having to actually download the five thousand images or even bigger uh, data sets. So uh, in general, you can see images, images very, very similar that we, we actually saw everywhere. Some of them are not uh, related. And this is very common. They are not related because um, when we are studying um, uh, a hashtag that's very popular, people, um, um, people use this to sell products or even to make a comment on this, but it's not always related to the topic. So this is, this is something that uh, is interesting also when you are doing a content analysis that on a specific environment, like on Instagram, you can see that not always, it's a collect collective uh, constructed um, group of images in this case images okay and then uh, I think this this could be I don't know can you can anyone like tell me if you like a feedback if you if you could uh, do this yes. yeah it yeah. all worked good very good okay so uh, let's come back here to the presentation just close these. 
practice. I'm not using my soul. I cannot be on Twitter right now. Also, let's close. <laughs> okay, so here uh, on the presentation, you can uh, you can check this uh, as as like a step by step, and I also managed to put like a GIF showing how how you could do this. So this is very very pretty basic, right? So as we just like have these. Um, how can I say this? Just this sneak peek of what images can happen, can can uh, are most common there. We also uh, understand that the basis or the the biggest part of the of the image there are connected to memes, right? So um, one can say, okay, but why, why? What is the point? of doing a content analysis on something that is <clears throat> mostly related to memes. I mean, what, what is the point of that? And then I, 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 like, I would like to ask you, like if you see um, that all memes are the same. And uh, of course you can do like a, a classification or a differentiation or create patterns of uh, how memes can also uh, bring some, some different approaches and some interpretations of one specific uh, topic. In this case, um, Bernie Sanders feeling cold um, during the inauguration. So here uh, there is, uh, I found lots of, of where, is, uh, where is Waldo and then where is uh, I'm, I'm just living here. I'm not sure if you could find him yet, but I think uh, everyone in their child uh, days have, have uh, or even last year could explore this. And um, I think, let me see if I, oh, I put, I actually have put some, but he is in here. Let me see, I found, I lost it him. Uh, someone found it? Uh, Bernie or Waldo? Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, this is a good question. Uh, I found, oh my God, I found him and then I actually Where's put... Where is uh, I actually, uh, let me see here because maybe uh, it's not on the presentation. Oh, there, that's why. Can you see the circle, the red circle? Yes. He was actually the picture. I thought that maybe they could uh, made a drawing of him or something like this, but no. That's why I think it's all, it's why it didn't work because it's kind of down there. Uh, yeah, it's like the images. It's it's, uh, it's on the it's on a half. It's not it's not a whole picture. Okay, but this is just, just the point is just uh, not all me not all memes are the same, and they have. You can do like a very, very, and I'm not the right person to talk about it. Elena Filipet is the right person to talk about it, but you can understand like, like very, very, even political approaches during memes, criti critics uh, or support using this kind of, of um, forms of, of communication. Uh, so here, just in a, to see how in a quick way we could find um, some different topics related to memes and uh, related to different approaches. For example, the art related ones. So as you can see here uh, in the embroidery on origami, uh, embroidery was very famous there and very common or drawings or even um, uh, having this kind of collage uh, with um, a traditional art or even uh, again drawings with dogs and, and Snoopy, I saw like lots of them. So this is kind of one way to, to use this. And I, I was kind of really surprised of the fast, how people could fast create some kind of work like this. Um, also uh, this kind of, um, changes and, and drawings or, or even uh, image or photo, photos uh, edition with movies or celebrities and how, how, they, how he spreads like in the whole spectrum of, of the popular culture. 
Um, uh, and then very use it also. The, all these images are from our data set, just to make it clear. Um, and here it was kind of easy to, to identify uh, when news or news channels or news uh, papers or any kind of new channels uh, broadcasting or no or not. Uh, they, are use, they are using like very specific picture and then uh, saying how uh, he, he raised like one point million um, dollars, I guess, uh, on, on, the, on charity and by selling t-shirts, selling gloves, uh, selling even, even the Getty Images picture was, was not, um, was not uh, he didn't, they didn't charge for, for the use of the images of this, of this picture. So also gloves everywhere. So this kind of a glove that has an interesting story because uh, this was a, um, it's like a home, uh, it's like a professor or something or a mom who actually do this kind of gloves with old uh, blouses and, and um, sweatshirts. So this is what was even more kind of an extra flavor to, to, the, to the thing. So yeah, this is just to, to show you um, how in a very quick way, we could understand different ways of, of playing, of mimetizing, mimetizing, mimetizing uh, one specific uh, topic. So this is, this is the way you could actually conduct a visual content analysis. Uh, and then these, all these uh, softwares and these shortcuts can help you to do this uh, in a more organized and faster way. So uh, here we're going to, are you, do you have any questions uh, by now? Is this is like yes, everything? I have a question. Um, yeah, yeah. Hi, my name is Noemi from Mexico. Mm -hmm. Did you um, assign categories in Excel or you just, uh, by looking at the images, did you choose some images and see the, the visual categories that you, that you show those? No, yeah, it, this, this was the, the, the process was just like this. I was looking at the images and then I see, okay, this is repeating, this is repeating, this is repeating. Okay, I'm sure I have to put some art in this. I, I'm sure I have to put some popular culture. I'm sure I have to like highlight the globes and how they are the, the, the main topic of these images. And actually I can show you after uh, how how I, I did this before, like scrolling the this the the spreadsheet, uh -huh. and then selecting oh here 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 this is repeating, this is interesting because every time I click I I saw the 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 preview and then I was mm, what is this or is too small or something like this I click on the link and then open the bigger image and then I could copy and then paste it here on the presentation. So I was doing this and I'm, I work with, with this data set for, for two days, I guess. And I'm, I'm sure if we, if we stay for, or even if you have like two or three person working with you, you can like discover and then uh, uh, identify many, many other categories or many, many others, different approaches to the same topic. So this is what was like the manual part Perfect. of the work. Thank you. Thank you. Anna. Okay. Um, so here we um, we have this part of uh, emojis. I know emojis may be sorry. I guess uh, emojis may be kind of silly, uh, but they are very very strong picture way of communicating. And um, people can say lots of things. Not, I'm not sure not in this case specifically, but uh, there are some, some very interesting studies on emojis. And um, considering how easy it is to do this, I, I, I thought it could be interesting for us to see which emojis are most used on this specific uh, use of the hashtag. So here we go. Let me just put here small, yeah. 
So here we are going to use um, two things. First, here you can see the text analysis. Um, I can, sorry, let me just go back here. Um, if you have the presentation there, you can just, uh, let me go back here, yeah. The link, oh, sorry, here. Uh, this link, you can see, and um, you can, this is, this is going to, to be the, the web-based software we are going to use. Uh, for for, for the, this software gives us uh, the, let me go back here, sorry. How can I go to the chat? It's here again. Uh, oh, sorry, does uh, someone have a question here? Katie, does this trick for preview images work on other Google spreadsheets like with tweets? to preview what they look like. Mm. Uh, Kate, if, if, if they have only the URL of the link, they, they are not going to have, because it, the, the idea is the URL of an image. If your data set have like, uh, for example, I posted a tweet and then I uploaded an image. And in this case, if you have in your data set, the URL of this image that I uploaded on, on the tweet, yes. You can see, but like it could be very good to see like a print of, of the tweet, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Rather than having to click on the URL every time, especially with working with large data sets, because exactly. I did try it on this other Google spreadsheet doc I had and none of the images are coming up, even on tweets that I know have an image. But maybe you're right. Maybe it's because the URL is of the tweet, not of the exactly. Specific. Yeah. The URL must be like the, the direct uh, URL for the image. Okay. For example, uh, I actually worked once with a tweet uh, data set and the only URL that we have, image URL we have, was like the profile picture of the person. So this uh, it's actually interesting because we are studying um, politics and uh, it was kind of on the, on the, like everybody was using this frame to identify if, if the person is like, I don't know, right wing or left wing. Mm -hmm. So uh, for us, it was really easy to see, like you were seeing, okay, this is pro, this is pro, this is against, this is anti, this is pro. So it, it was kind of easier for us to see actually if the person was criticizing or something or being mm -hmm. ironic. Mm -hmm. You know, like sometimes the irony, it's very difficult to understand because in different people can say something, but actually they're trying to criticize. So we use the this frame on the on the image, like from the user image on, on Twitter to identify if the person was like actually supporting something or criticizing. So mm. this could be a way to 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 use, but uh, but yeah, I would love to have this one. <laughs> to see the, the, the link, the tweet. Yeah. Um, okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, um, so here, can you, can you uh, have you already opened the lab, uh, the text analysis? So yeah, I, I'm going to do this again. So the first, first thing uh, we want to do is here. So we are on our spreadsheet here. Let me just scroll there. Uh, and then where people use, um, mostly use uh, like text and emojis. Here we can see the description of the, of, of, of the, the image of the posts is actually the, what, what people write. Sometimes people can leave it, left it, leave it blank. But here we are going to select all the column and then we are going to copy this. Let me see, my computer is kind of slow. Let me see here, maybe here, okay. Copy. So we copy all this column and then we go there on the text analysis, which you can see it's a very clean uh, interface. And then we are going here and we are going to paste it here on the, on the on the parameters. 
So it's probably going to take a while because it's like 5,000 posts. I guess, I guess it's already, it's like loading. Yeah. So the first thing we should do, because we copied like the name description there. So you could uh, erase this or not, because in this case, we are only um, focused here on the uh, emoji statistics, right? So uh, here, here's what, what it, it means, what is important for us. Let me just, I was trying to, because it's kind of small here, yeah, okay. And then uh, you can just check here, emoji statistics. We can leave the language in English because I mean, the most probably uh, posts are written in English. And then we can just run submit. So uh, here it's going like to um, process this data. I'm not sure, oh, now, now it's like really slow. Let me close this other, let me see if it's running. Okay, I, I'm, I don't want to like put it bigger. Could you, could you do this? Are you, can you, are you managing to do this? Yes, it's loading. It's loading, yes, I, I think it's take a little while, but it's not, it's not that uh, not like, it's like the bars like this. I'm just waiting. This is good because you can also, let me see, there is something on the chat also. Yes, 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 okay. <laughs> um, I think I wait and I'll show you how things maybe can take some time. No. Yeah, it, yeah, it is, uh, Fabio knows because <laughs> Fabio is very, uh, like inside of these tools. Um, and here we can you see that the, the output, what we're going to have here is like a list of, and of about the frequency of uh, emojis during um, this specific uh, column, uh, considering the, considering the, um, I think it is now, let me just scroll there. Okay, so here you can see the first option, uh, it brings like a demogized text. So it's, it's the opposite that we want. And here, can you see like we have the emoji, alias and frequency. So here we can see like, for example, the, this emoji face of tears, face with tears of joy was, were used uh, 739 times. So what were we going to do with this? We are going to select all, also copy, okay? And then we go back to our, our practical lab here, uh, spreadsheet. And then you can see one that it's emoji rank, uh, one, one tab here, we open there and then we are going to paste it. So you see, oh, it's so messy. No problemo, you can just uh, go here in format. Sorry, it's not format, it's data. And then put a split text to columns. So the, the, the software is like automatically understand that each comma is a different column. So you click here and then you will see um, we have emoji alias and frequency. Um, and also the numbers, like the biggest, the highest from the lowest, number of uh, uses of emojis, okay? So, of course, we are talking about uh, an emoji, about an old, <laughs> but very um, intelligent sen senator um, in, an, in a kind of funny situation. So it's no surprise that the emoji with laughing tears would be the most, one of the most used, right? So the second is like rolling on the floor laughing. So uh, this is kind of help us to see what is the, um, what is, what is the actually use. And of course this confirms the use, the, the mimetic use 
of of our of of this of this specific hashtag, which is only the name of Bernie Sanders, but it it is uh, connected to a specific period of time, as I told you before. So if if we are going maybe, can you imagine? And I'm not saying and wishing anything, but can you imagine that he's probably, I don't know, go to the hospital or something like this? So the, the content connected, for example, in a scenario that he's ill or he, he's dead or something, it's way different from the scenario that he's in a kind of a funny situation. So this is, this is something that's interesting always to consider. Let me see here, that's one comment. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay, just came to me. Okay, so uh, continue. And then uh, what, what can we do with this? Um, let's just do it. Yes. So what, what can we do with, um, with this? So we have these emojis. Uh, here's like the process I, I showed to you. Like, how can you do this uh, in, two, in two slides, in two steps? Um, and then how can we actually show to um, how can we visualize this? We can just put a column there and saying the numbers and, um, and which emoji it is and that's it. Or we can actually try to visualize this. So here is the, is the third topic we are working. So you can go to raw graphs. It's raw graphs .e -o, I -o, sorry. Um, then let me just check here. Okay. So you can see this. And then uh, this is if you can uh, leave it open. Sorry, it's like, it's like so many tabs here <laughs> that I'm kind of confused. Um, mm -hmm. Where can I see? Oh, here. There, the chat. So you can go here. But first, we go back there. And, uh, and uh, I propose to do this uh, specific, uh, to do this specific visualization that we can work with the 10 most um, used emojis. Because as you can see there on our, on our spreadsheet, we have, let me see, there's a lot. Can you imagine do a visualization with all of these? It's no, it's not a good idea. Because you know, visualizations are all about being clear, being direct, being makes sense. So no, 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 no. I, I never, I didn't realize there was like so much, like 700 something emojis like seven, 1800 emojis. So it's like too much for organized, of course, one visualization. So um, the idea to be, um, of course, for us now as a, an exercise, we could uh, maybe put only the, the top 10. Uh, to do that, we can uh, select here until the 11, remember, because there is like the first line is the, is the name like emoji and uh, alias and frequency. So we can copy until the number 11. We copy this and then we go there to raw graphs. I closed the, the raw graphs. Oh, I didn't, I, I think I didn't even open, sorry. Yeah, I just pasted there, I didn't open. <laughs> so you're going to see this, it's another uh, open, uh, amazing tool for work. You can click here, use it now. And then you can paste it, these 11 columns and lines that we, that we copy, copy there. We just paste it here. So they are going to analyze the data and we should, you sh we should have this message here, 10 records in your data has been successful, successfully parsed. Okay, so here, and then you, you will see that we have many different visualizations um, 
ways of organize our data. But some of them work in a way, in better in a way, and they work better in another way. So for this, we want to understand uh, how hierarchically uh, emojis are being used. So there is different kinds of this kind of visualization of dispersion or distribution of hierarchy. And then I would um, suggest to use the tree map, which is uh, an, an a hierarchy uh, level. And then we have all these already, um, how can I say, like the, we have the ingredients to do this visualization. So you just click here and select the tree map. And then you go down here and then you will see different kinds of organize your, uh, your visualization. For example, remember here on the, um, here on the, on the, our spreadsheet, the alias is actually the emoji. And emoji is just, is just like the name of, we are probably not going to use this. So for example, uh, what matters to us is um, how frequent the emoji were used, right? So you can just drag and drop here, the frequency. Um, the colors, we can maybe opt different colors for each emoji. So you can actually use the emoji here, for example. It's just, just to identify different colors. So can you see already here, like the number show uh, here, here on the hierarchy and the color like is connected to each emoji, but okay, it's no, it's no very good, it's not very good. So you can use also the frequency for the size and emoji for label. Sorry, no emoji, it's alias. Oh, sorry. Alias for label. So can you see it, it, here, it's kind of really small emojis, right? Um, but actually I, uh, you can do this if you save, before, before to do that, just me, let, let me show you how can you edit here. For example, I want this to be a little like shorter. I can put like 600. So this would be, you know, um, a smaller version, more squared version. Um, I can use here, for example, oh, I want to do the space between the, the, the squares like, like smaller, so I can put these even zero. And then like they have just a line. So this is all uh, settings you can improve your visualizations. And then even the colors you can change here. So for example, if I don't like this one, I can put like a lighter one. So so this is, this is a very interesting tool to work. And also it uh, allows you to embed this kind of uh, visualization. And also you can uh, download it uh, in SVG, PNG or JSON file. So uh, for now a PNG file could work for us. So we can, we can rename like emoji frequency, Bernie Sanders, yes. It's not bullshit, but it's Bernie Sanders, sorry. <laughs> and then uh, you can download it. And then you see, uh, if you want to, to actually to edit the SVG, per, the SVG version is better. Um, I'm not sure if it's downloading, but it should be. Uh, but here you can see on the presentation I actually uh, change it a little bit of the of the size of the of the emojis, and why I did this is because it's easier to it's easier to to see like okay the squares or I just try to maintain the same um, the same um, how can I say uh, not not the same size but the same proportion of each uh, square uh, using like the, putting a bigger emoji on there. So um, I'm not sure if you could, could you manage to do this or, 
was there like a, a, um, a doubt or a problem in the in the in the process no all set all fine good so have you already uh used kind this kind of of um visualization too not before and what 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 are you thinking what what is your your impression about it like a first use i think it's really fascinating and very cool yeah i i'm actually a really fan of the of the graphs and actually you can explore lots of things uh, you, if you download the SVG file, it's easier to put all the um, all the emojis bigger, or even change the colors, or any kind of other limitations you may you, you may find. And I think it's a very interesting way to show how how this is used. Um, for example, uh, why uh, I actually couldn't only couldn't uh, identify why people use this the black. Um, emoji one. This is probably used for, I don't know, separate information or something like this. But for example, the glove one is interesting because it's very connected to the to the fact that he were wearing these gloves. The United States flag also, the funny faces, the smiling faces, uh, sparkles, the heart, the red heart one. So I think they are all connected. And this is um, uh, show us a very interesting way of uh, people using collectively, using uh, for communication, right? So, um, and next, let me just see. Just one question. Sure, sure. Which tool do you use afterwards to edit the um, CVG file? The yes, I uh, you have plenty, plenty. Um, uh, any suggestions? I can give you some. Uh, you can actually open on Illustrator and there's this kind of uh, page, but there is like the Inkscape, which one, which is a, in a, like an open tool. I can just write the name here. And uh, if, as soon as I find the chat here, yeah, uh, Inkscape. Inkscape. You can actually you can actually edit there. I think I have here, but it's it's. I'm not sure if I'm still using this. And also, once I was um, I wasn't in my in my computer, and I found some online tools that uh, that like were available to edit the SVG file. So actually, you can. If you can, for example, if you can't find one uh, software that you already have, you can try like uh, Googling like SVG free editor or online editor. And I actually use it like a couple of times and it works very good, very, very well. So I think it could be a way to, and of course the idea is not to change too much because the software like uses all the Right information there, but um, for this kind, this this kind of uh, this way, like putting the emojis bigger, is a way to make the information more, even more clear. So I think it's there is no no problem at all. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. If anyone have any any other questions, so please, uh, and then. We are moving on about engagement. So let me just put here, oh, sorry, spoiler alert uh, here. So this, is, this could be a little, how can I say, a little tricky because people, uh, engagement is just like this gray area that people can um, say that engagement is something or it's another thing like theoretically seems something. So here we are just like um, understanding that engagement is like the sum of um, interactions you can have with a specific content or in this case on, on this platform. So the idea is 
that we are considering, uh, and we can go back there to our we can go back there to our spreadsheet here to see maybe here. Okay, for example, let me just put a little uh, smaller. Yeah, um, as you can see here, we have comment counts and like count. And then we can, if we, we keep going there, there's like, okay, post ID, honor, caption, okay. Da, 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 da. And then there is one like a VO count. But VO counts only works for uh, videos, right? So there is no VO count on, on posts that are pictures. So that's why we are not considering this because it's, it's going to like make the engagement of images and uh, photos or pictures and videos kind of disbalance it. So that's why we are collecting and considering for engagement only the comments and the like counts because all, all of the, both images or videos have these, the same um, possibility of interaction. So uh, is that clear? I think it's, uh, this is just the way it's not, we are not saying that engagement is always like this, for example, on Instagram, but we are understanding that this makes sense. So this is more, more, more or less what we want to highlight here. So uh, to do a sum in, 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 the, in my spreadsheet or in an Excel, it's very, very easy. You just have to type equal. Let me put just sorry. Let me put just no, not this. Ah, yeah, uh, sum, right? And then open brackets, and then show the, the 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 cells you want to consider. So we are going to consider comment count and like count, and then close the brackets. Here we have a very sad zero, but yeah, oh, I'm not in the beginning, sorry. Let me go there because it's easier to apply. Yeah, so here, uh, sum, here E2 and F2, close, and that's it. So we can apply this to all of the column. So in order to have all of the engagement related, there, okay. Um, and then uh, we can, let me just see you. And then we can explore this in, in a very, in very different ways. We can explore, for example, uh, or try to understand which accounts actually um, have the biggest or the most interactions uh, on Instagram considering this hashtag. So here you see, um, I created this very simple uh, visualization, sorry, here. Uh, and then what can we see here? So here uh, I have to do like a little extra work because I couldn't have all this information in one way. Uh, so here uh, you can see the size of this of this flow from one side to another means um, the biggest engagement. So this very like thick uh, blue area is connected to the engagement. And here on the second part, um, let me put here. Here on the second part, you can see that here are divided by photo and video. So I, I actually had to, to do this like by hand uh, to identify the users. Why is that? Because some of them uh, don't give the, the, the username. And uh, this is very, very important. All of, this, all of this data was collected from open accounts, from public accounts, okay? So this is not like using for bad purposes. And also this is kind of, we are using only for this uh, educational uh, final use 
So we are not going to use this to sell anything to anybody. But here, can you see some have the, the, the username and, and there's something like right behind that they don't have. So what can we do here? Um, we can apply like this filter. So we just select the, the first column, uh, the first line in here. And then go here to the create a filter. So you just create it. And then you go here on engagement and uh, select it from Z to A, which means from the biggest number to the lower number. So here is going to organize uh, the posts. So they are like different times or changes or something like this, but this is what, what it counts for us. So as we did with the, um, with the top 10 emojis, we can make probably use the top 10 uh, most posts with most engagement, with bigger engagement there. So can you see here? So can you see almost the preview? Okay, okay, okay. So what can we do? <clears throat> uh, then I, I put here the engagement one because I want to organize the data focusing on a specific uh, visualization. So what do you need? Okay, we uh, could use, uh, and here I'm going to paste special like just the number because they are in case, for example, of the engagement that we use a formula, if you don't paste it only the values, they're going to be like, uh, give you a, a, an error. So here we are copying this user, username, I guess the name of the column. So, oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> They're just checking the internet here. Oh, it's just because I said it was okay. Let me see. Okay. Can you listen, right? You can listen. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, okay. You know, just because they ask if they have some problems here, but it's okay. So, sorry, uh, here we are going, I think I copy everything. And then we are going to there on the engagement tab. And here I'm going to paste it. Like the usernames. And then I'm going to go back there and copy the engagement, for example. Okay, and put it just, and then uh, here uh, I ask you to paste the special values only, because if you just paste it, they are going to, to give an error because of the formula. And then you can choose many kinds of uh, interesting things to, uh, to see. For example, if in this case, we don't have many difference of the days, of there was probably most is like one or two posts in 2020 and then the, all of them are from the same day. So it's not very interesting to, to use the date because it's like all the same day. If you have like one month, maybe it's interesting to see the flow and how things change. And another thing that maybe uh, it's interesting is to see what type of posts is this. Like uh, this, is, this is to understand, for example, if in this specific case, we could identify that videos are more, uh, they have more engagement than photos. Uh, this is also another thing that we could actually have an idea before we start because considering the, the biggest, um, like the concrete part of this was the picture, like was the photo of Bernie Sanders sitting with code. Um, we can see that probably were more pictures there than videos. But you can see, for example, if, uh, if what we were studying was something from, um, I don't know, maybe um, a video or a movie, or a scene, like for example, can you imagine if he was walking and then he tripped and fell down? So the video would be more 
probably generate more engagement than a picture. So this is just try to understand the data set and what were the uses given there. And then here we paste the type. Let me see if we need anything more. I guess this is it. So what can we do this here? We can copy here also the 10 first. I'm just using 10, but you can use different uh, kinds of, and then we are copying here and then we go back there to Rograts. Uh, so here, if you, if you want to open a, another, another window and leave it this one, but you can just go back here, erase the, the data you had before and paste it the new one. And I would suggest, because as they kind of, they normally attribute one specific visualization here, this scatter plot, but I don't think it's kind of, it's not very, doesn't fit very well, but we can use this alluvial diagram, which shows different categories and how they are related to one another. So here we can put, for example, um, the size, what the size of these flows means. Of course, the biggest, bigger size, a bigger engagement. This could be a way to organize. And here you can use which username have this kind of engagement and what type of images, uh, uh, sorry, what type of posts they are publishing. So here, let me put a little, a little smaller here. Yeah, so, so here you can see in this case, this is so interesting because I was with the same data set and um, they are, they remember that we have one video, like we have one video here from Vivi Carol Boy or something. So this is interesting because probably I have, or I'm not sure if I, if I extracted different data sets, but this is interesting. This is live working. <laughs> So here, um, oh, Caris, the engagement metric. I get it, how did, yes, uh, Caris, it was just like I told you. I'm not sure if you, uh, if you can listen to me, if you, if you have the, yes, okay. So this is what I just told you. Um, here, when I, we copy, when we copy the engagement there, we copy this, let me just go back here. You copy normal, like command C or control C. And then you go back here and instead of just com uh, command V, you should uh, just paste, paste a special. And then let me just put it, paste a special and then paste, paste values only. So this is not, this is going to prevent you to have this error. Uh, could you, could you manage this? If you could, maybe if you open your mic or something. No, it's not a stupid. No, not at all. I, I was there so many times. <laughs> so uh, this is, this, that's why I called them. I highlight this because uh, that's why the, this result is in a different spread, in the different tab. So we have only to paste the values. So coming back here, going back here. So yes, I was, I was trying to, to tell you that maybe uh, I have, because I have some experiments in the different uh, data set. So probably what this is what happens because we have, um, for example, let me see if I have, sorry, if I have one, the same tag scout. This is like a newspaper, a German newspaper, if I'm not wrong. Um, Daily news, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's, I, I, I was thinking about you because I thought that you would <laughs> know, <laughs> because it's like, it was the biggest one. But here, let me see if the results, what is the first one? Let me see if it's the same. Yeah, it is the same. So yeah, okay, it's no, it's, no, it's no such difference. But can you see that here's the engagement is kind of slow, uh, not slow, but it's, it's, um, small. And the, the biggest one were these, but they are only pictures. 
so as, as I, I was explaining before, so we have, uh, we kind of have this feeling that, okay, there's probably going to be images because the image circulation was really, really connected to montars or to make uh, this kind of collars or putting uh, burning centers in different scenarios. So here is, here is a way to, to organize how can you see this. Um, a very interesting and this this is kind of a plus because i'm not sure if you have uh, here is the basics of i i proposed for this afternoon i know that we don't have like too much time and, and i and i didn't want to put like too much information in order to make this kind of over overwhelming uh, so here what what could we do today we actually um could like uh, find a way to make like a preview of our data set, like the images in a very faster way. We also could uh, understand metrics and how, how visualize and make it more understandable for others. And also we could like understand and use the emojis and maybe try to get some more than just funny and cute faces, but trying to understand a little better. This is all, and uh, of course you, you all understand that, this is not like a very profound content analysis, but it's just maybe uh, and I start from exploring, and I think you can use to any kind of uh, subject you feel like it's related to your research or your interests. Um, once, one thing, I'm not sure if you have any specific questions or any problems you you faced during this. this. It was really, really okay. I, I'm, I'm actually happy if it was. <laughs> because for me, it's like um, the, on the beginning is kind of, oh, how can we do this? And then I, I think going like on, um, like little by little, it's it's very interesting. So we heal, we still have nine minutes, right? And I want to show to you this another thing that maybe you can um, explore in using different projects here. That is, um, it's how you can like it takes a little more uh, work, extra work, but the result is kind of really really interesting. Uh, is, is the one that uh, we have like the setup section today and different projects are going to use it, I'm sure, which is called the um, image sorter tool. I'm not sure if you if you heard about it. So um, here I'm, I'm trying to open it uh, to show you how can we how can we actually more than just previewing the images on on the very uh, column there on the spreadsheet. How can you can, how can you see uh, the image there? I'm not sure if it's loading there. You can see the image is loading. So this is um, using the links, the URLs of the links that we have there on the spreadsheet. You can run uh, these downloading images with down them all. Um, after you can use on the setup setup section the links there. I think. They're all available. And then you can navigate in a more, even more interesting way to see the patterns um, and then try to understand. So uh, I tried before, like the first day I worked with this data set, I worked only using the, the image preview. I actually put it, the image preview like really big and then it was easier to see. But with this tool, which is called the, the image sorter here. Uh, it's still loading because it's 5,000 5, images. So let's give the, uh, some time to it. Like it's a machine, but it also gets tired. And then here, after, after uh, finish the, the loading, we can, we can see more um, similarities of the images, which if, some of you are working with content analysis focused on images. It's a very, very useful tool. Um, 
I think it's almost in the end. This is just an extra, okay? This was not, was not uh, supposed to be there, but I think it's going to be very uh, interesting if, if any of you are working with, with images and uh, content analysis. Okay, almost there. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> So the good part is when it stops like uh, loading because uh, this, this you can organize by date or organize by color, which is also a very, a very uh, good way to see uh, your data set. Let me wait. Do you think on the on the other hand, just asking, do you think that you may actually could be able to use um, some of some of what we work today in your projects or maybe in your uh, personal research? I think both in the project for the data sprint and in my personal research because it's very image based. So these are super helpful tools. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I wish I, I had developed this, but I just got like, but I, I have the feeling. So can you see now they already organize it by colors? So you can navigate here, for example, here we can see lots of the same kind of images. And uh, if you actually, it's kind of not very well um, defined, but if you want to open on a specific one, you can just click twice and then it's going to open the, the image file there. So here. So here it's this is what's connected to a newspaper or our news media. So this is it's really interesting because okay let me see uh, what is the blue area here? What what are you talking about? So here's like some editing. Um, you can see some in other places, this kind of image not related, which is also interesting because as I told you before, when I, when I hashtags like really, really trending, people start to use and uh, start to using like in, in any kind of content. So uh, the dolls here, oh, the dolls like very uh, famous one. Um, also, I don't know if you if you saw on the on the Instagram, there is like one filter for Instagram stories that could put um, him everywhere. You can actually open your camera and take a picture of your room and then put him sitting sitting there. So this is also uh, lots of different uses. Uh, let me find if I if I have one. So this is this is just a way to explore in a very more uh, easy way all of this kind of um, content that is global shit. The the only bad thing that we can see videos here, but we can see lots of information there also. So. In general, it's just to show to you if you have any any questions. Um, I have here my email on uh, here on the end of the presentation. So you can just um, keep in touch or if you have any, any, any kind of a problem during, the, during your work or something like this, or if you have any questions specific to, oh, I couldn't work uh, this software, there's like some limitations or something like this, I'm, I'm here to help you. Uh, during the, this week and after. And let me just check. Uh, we have two minutes to spare. And if you, if you want to have another cup of coffee or something like this, feel free. And the, the mic is open. If you have an, another question, uh, I'm really help, 
happy to, to be here with you today. And thank you very much.